about something that my great 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 grandpa told me about. Marsh of the Prime Frog. Yeah, we get to see some frogs here. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. We're slimy amphibians. What's wrong with slime, huh? Ribbit, ribbit. Nothing is wrong with slime, other than the fact that I'm going to eat you. 10 EXP. Yes, they're cute and adorable. Not worth that much EXP. Fairly easy to kill. I advise killing the head-butting dinosaurs, though. These guys are just a pain. Also, how come they get a tongue? We didn't have a tongue when we were an amphibian. We even had frog jaws and we didn't have a tongue. What up with that? Alright, how are you still hitting me? Two forty five EXP and we've already covered about a quarter of the worlds here. Hmm, not looking good for us, is it? Domain of the Presidero. These things. They aren't too bad. Their main form of attacking you is actually just to sit there and yell. We're not gonna let him do it. Not until we have a bit of armor. 50 EXP, not too bad. Pretty easy kill, actually. Yeah, let's just let him do it. Here, we're gonna walk off. Yeah, see, he yells. And if you're close enough to him, it does damage like three times. Basically, you just wanna eat him over and over again. Pretty much these guys are like walking. Eat me, I'm free EXP signs. Put here by the developers because they realize just about everything they put before this is too hard to kill at your current form. It's surprising though they give you so much EXP. Ow. Ow. Occasionally they do get a hit off on you. Oh boy. Let's try that dash attack. Three damage, ooh. I should have been doing that. Look at that. Kabam! Oh wait, there we go. Uh -huh. Blam! That's how it's done. Heck, we could go fight those headbutting things and kill them in like one hit by doing that. Why didn't I try that before? It's really handy. Alright, I think it's about high time we get some better jaws. What about you? We're dinosaurs after all. I mean, that's what you remember about dinosaurs, is their teeth. So let's get some Brasaurus jaws, which might as well just be Brachiosaurus jaws. I don't know why they call them by their funky names. Um, better jaws, I don't believe, increase our striking ability. No, it doesn't. Still three. However, should we need to, we do have the ability to bite harder. We also look a little more intimidating. Not much. Oh, and this wonderful, wonderful music. Alright, well, what do we want to do here, friends? Want to get a spotted body? Or a better tail? We could even get a crest. Whatever we get, it's going to cost a lot. 500 for just about everything we want. You know, I think I might have lied when I said that the amphibian involves the most grinding. I think it's quite possible that this level involves the most grinding. Maybe I'm just more excited about being a dinosaur, that it doesn't feel like it involves a lot of grinding. I'm not quite sure. Or maybe it's that grinding is a bit easier as a dinosaur. It does feel that we're able to get more EXP faster than we were as an amphibian, where we were getting like 30 over and over again. Yes, yes, you can get a stegosaurus door. Oh, no, we can't skip. I didn't see that. We have one for 200 here. We'll get this real quick. Yeah! An edosaurus thing, or whatever. I don't know. Oh, it lets our striking do a little bit more. Rawr! Strike, strike, strike. We're also a little bit faster. Now let's get another... Yeah, it is an edosaurus door. So let's get a sega... Segasaurus. That, like, segasaurus. Otherwise known as Stegosaurus. I don't know why they didn't just put the T in. What was it, copyright infringement? Look at us now, man! Roar! Five striking damage! Kapow! Not to mention more defense, I'm sure. Or at least hit points. How does our jumping fare into this? Still just two damage. We're really not meant to jump into anything. That was for the amphibians. We are, we are beyond that now at this point. 
no need to waste our time hopping around like hooligans. Alright, stop that. Indeed, stop. Uh, alright. Yes, this has been quite a bit of grinding, actually, hasn't it? We're shooting for 500 right now, friends. Uh, yes, that hurts. I guess we could try our luck with some stegosauruses, couldn't we? Back of the head, we could get a petendodon's crest. Let's go for that, I guess. Yeah, whatever that does for us. Now let's just do a bit more damage. And cut that out. I think it's time to move on. We'll see what we find. Maybe we'll get eaten, maybe we won't. Feels like that thing also made us quite a bit faster, actually. That wasn't too bad of an investment. A little bit more speed, a little bit more damage with our striking ability. Don't really see a disadvantage to that. Move down here now. Go to this crazy place. Domain of the Stegosaurus. Or Segasaurus. Segasaurus. Om nom nom. You think you got what it takes, Stegosaurus, man? I don't think you have the, what it takes. So, 80 EXP, obviously an improvement. From the 50 we were getting from those other guys. And they just kind of sit there and wave their fins at you. Occasionally they'll tell whip you. It kind of hurts, but, you know, you learn to deal. All in the day's work of a dinosaur. Yeah, we'll get a thousand see what we can get. That's really what the fun is in this game. I guess, in a way, you know, in a slight way, this game really is just a shameless way of making you grind from one enemy to the next just to get... EXP so that you can evolve your character in the way that you want, but a lot of it, I think, a lot of this game is just fun. Uh, it might be more fun to play than watch, I'm not quite sure, I've never watched someone play this, uh, well, past, like, a couple episodes of uh, this one guy's Let's Play, but, um, but, you know, I, I think what makes this game so fun is getting to see all the animals, getting to eat all the animals, There's something about eating your foes. This is exciting. It makes it fun and a little addicting. Um, getting to see the new enemies is fun. How they make the evolutionary idea fit within the context of the game is fun. Right, what do we got here? We can get the Tauros, Tauracodon's jaws. Yeah, that. I'm not quite sure how that's an improvement, but it is. We now do five. Pardon me. It still doesn't affect our striking ability. I still feel like striking is really the way to go. I'm not quite sure why I just leveled up our jaws. Yeah, hit me in the face, why don't you? Striking really seems like where it's at. Let's see what else we can get. We get a Prona Pronosaurus dorsal fin. Seems like the last one we can get. Yep. Oh, now we do seven. Yeah, man. Give me some more of that damage. I guess there is a disadvantage. The strike ability only hits one target, whereas biting can hit two, I believe. Or, well, actually just multiple targets, not just two specifically. Domain of the Prime Frog. Hey, what are you doing? You do not like slime? What an insolent Cyrusotocodorus child. Cyrusotocodorus child says, Stop it, I don't like it. Ah, reptiles are coming, run. Cyrusotocodorus child says, Help me. Indeed we will, evil frogs. There we go. We saved the Cyrusotocodorus child. And let's go back and talk to its mother. I'm sure the mother will be happy. Probably be happy. Hopefully be happy. Oh look! Yep, happy. The reptile helped me when I was in trouble. I forgot to thank him for his help. And the fa- oh, it's a father! Oh dear. 
Well, if you meet the reptile, tell him about the legend. One day, a dinosaur climbed to the top of Mount Brave. At the top, he was given a chance to become a new creature. If he took the chance, he would give up most of his capabilities. He decided, after much hesitation, to make the change. He was admired by all for the courage he had shown by changing into a new body. This body had capabilities which no other creature had. He changed his name to Patibnadon and left for the new world. Would you like to hear it again? No, I'm good. Basically, they're just telling you... I'm just pretty much gonna lay it down on you. You can become a pterodactyl, should you choose. I find it to be a horrible idea. Terribly horrible idea. Meaning, we're probably gonna do it. Don't ask me why. Oh no, I did not mean to go here. Oh, hi. Rubber, rubber. Is it you who scared my children? Well, you must not know. We are the Prime Frog family. Even reptiles feel for us. I will teach you a lesson. Attack, my children! Attack! Yeah, what a great mother. Sends her own children to die just to get revenge on you. Yeah, this is a boss if you hadn't figured it out. Fun for us. The only good thing about this boss is that you can heal yourself by eating the little things she sends at you. However, she does hurt a lot. And it does tend to be a bit difficult, especially when you get surrounded. Yeah, I hadn't actually intended to come here yet, friends, but... I guess we're doing okay. We need 500 for a muzzle horn. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. Oh, we need to focus our attention on her, but at the same time, we can't let ourselves get surrounded. We also need to eat these things, because if we don't, we're pretty much stuck in the water. Because we're not healing ourselves. Alright. I just have this really bad feeling she's gonna land on her head. Obviously, being an amphibian, she does most of her damage from jumping, like you just saw there. Let's, let's throw a horn on, because I think we're about to get hit in the face. Oh, there we go. We pulled it off. We we're able to throw out that, that horn attack. No, we're doing a lot better than I ever expected we would. Oh shoot, unfortunately we're all out of options. Because we don't have enough EXP to evolve another form. Ouch. I'm afraid to get close, because I really just don't want to get hit. No. No. Oh, come on, we've come so far. There has to be something we can evolve. <sighs> no. Well, friends, technically we could go back to a Tritops Jaws. Don't want to, but now uh, let's. All right, we got this. I'm sure, we, did. we got this. Yeah, yeah, we got this. I was, I, I totally did not think we had that. <laughs> or no, technically we couldn't go back to the Tritops jaws anyway, could we? Because that would be breaking our own rule. That we could only go to adjacent things. Oh man. Will you stop spawning your children? We've been fighting, like, all day. You see the sun go down? I saw the sun go down. I saw it come back up, too. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, this is very not good. Just in time. 